All right, let's talk about a few very simple things here tonight. Uh, first off being the whole Banksy uh, girl with a balloon print and how it shredded itself and the fact that he set this up years ago. Classic in my opinion. Uh, clearly, I'm a fan of Banksy. Um, I appreciate his artwork. I appreciate his statements the majority of the time. The whole dismal land concept was amazing. I loved it. <coughs> Wish I could have gone. But this one where people are auctioning off his work and he's not making any money off of it, not getting any credit beyond just the name and them selling it for themselves, like that's just wrong. Um, <coughs> but you're going to have to hold that real quick while I change batteries because apparently I didn't charge this battery. So give me like one second. Hold on. Yeah, we're back. So, going back to Banksy. Phenomenal street artist. Phenomenal graffiti artist. Um, his work is very poignant, very political, very statement-oriented. And, and in my words, very phenomenal. And I know I've already said that. But he's a good artist. He does very great work. He does push some boundaries at times. He does kind of cross a few lines every now and then, depending on how you feel about graffiti and street art and the fact that people painting on the side of buildings or walls that they don't have permission to do. Yeah, all right, I get that. However, what I take more offense to is the people cutting it off the side of that wall, taking part of the building and preserving it and then selling it at auctions without the artist's consent without the building owner's consent and making millions of dollars off of it. That I take offense to. So that's where I understand the whole shredding of Girl Balloon and, and I'm it's one of my favorite pieces by him. So I get that. Second thing, um, 1065 wrapped up this weekend. It was a phenomenal festival. They got a little rained out the other night, but I think it still turned out well for Mobile. So definitely, definitely check out Big Boy's uh, Instagram post because he did a little shot from the stage and it looked phenomenal. Third off, let's talk about Doctor Who. I don't know how many of you are guys fans of Doctor Who, but I'm a big fan. Uh, it was actually the basis of my wedding and my entire proposal to my wife. Um, but Doctor Who this weekend launched the new Doctor, which is a female. And in this current day and age, that's a very hard thing to do, but I think they pulled it off in my own personal opinion. I did have my reservations about the episode and I have my conservative thoughts of how they did not express the storyline or explain anything and go beyond that. And I didn't have the opening scene, However, I am still a fan, and I still think it's going to do wonders, and I hope it goes beyond that. But in the sh light of keeping this one short and sweet and keeping this vlog down to the minimum amount of time, and I want to show you guys some 1065 footage, which I'm about to, I think we're going to leave it at that. We're going to kind of progress through the time of Doctor Who, or as Doctor Who explained it at one point, the um, normal speed of time in the slow route. Uh, you're going to have to get it from that aspect. So that is what it is. So let's get to that B-roll footage. Here it comes.
you guys enjoyed that footage of 1065. Like I said, it's a phenomenal festival. It's exciting. It's always interesting. And in Bobio, you never know what the weather is going to be. As in, it rained yesterday and Saturday, and I didn't get any of that footage. But it rained a lot, and people had to run inside of the bars. But you know what? The show went on, and everybody had fun. So make sure to come down next year for 1065 and stay tuned for that. But you know what? I will say thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow, and I will see you in the next one. You guys are awesome, and thank you for watching.